Okay, let's find the area of a sector of a circle. So we have a formula for this. We have the area is going to be given by one half multiplied by theta multiplied by r, our radius squared. Okay, so when we're taking a look at this, the biggest thing I always think students struggle with is that theta, our angle, has to be in radians. So I'm going to try to outline this. Theta has to be in radians. Other than that, we really just have this formula we need to fill in for. But we always have to make sure that theta, our angle, is in radians. So let's jump right in, use this a couple of times, see some examples. We have an automatic sprinkler system, uh, sprays a distance of 20 feet, okay, goes 20 feet out from the center, while ro rotating 30 degrees across here. What's the area of the sector of grass the sprinkler waters? Okay, so we're trying to find this area. Hopefully pretty straightforward here that because from wherever we start, it shoots out here for 20 feet, our radius is gonna be 20. And that's gonna be in feet. Now our angle is gonna be that 30 degrees. But we have to be a little bit careful here that this was given in degrees for our formula. Remember that theta has to be in radians. So let's do a quick conversion over here to radians. We're gonna to have to use a conversion factor. So what I'm gonna do is I want to get rid of my degrees and I wanna end up with radians. So I need to set it up in this fashion that 180 degrees is equivalent to pi radians. Now I've set it up in this order so that I have degrees in the numerator and degrees in the denominator that should get to cancel each other out. This will leave us with 30 pi radians over 180. Or with a little bit of reducing down here, those both have multiples of 30, we can say that's pi over six radians. Now let's fill into our formula and see what our area is gonna be. So the area is gonna be given by one half multiplied by theta, which is pi over six, multiplied by our radius 20 feet squared. So with a little bit of reducing down here, we can say multiplying those fractions, we get pi over 12 multiplied by, I'm visualizing this as 20 feet, multiplied by a second copy of 20 feet. So 20 times 20 makes 400. And feet times feet is gonna be feet squared or square feet. Now for an exact answer, we can go ahead and visualize this as being over one. So it's a fraction. So we can multiply numerators together, 400 pi. Multiply denominators together, 12. And our units are gonna be square feet or feet squared. And with just a little bit of reducing down here, we can go ahead and say both multiples of four, numerator and denominator. Exact answer would be 100 pi over three square feet. Or if we wanted to get an approximation for this, put it into our calculator, we get this to be about 104.72 square feet. All right, one more of these. Let's go ahead and find the area of a sector of a circle with central angle 60 degrees if the radius of the circle is three meters. So again, we're given the radius is three meters and we're given an angle. But again, this angle works out to be, starts in degrees. We have to do a little bit of work to make this into radians because our angle always has to be in radians for this formula. All right, so I wanna cancel out my degrees. So I'm gonna use 180 degrees in the denominator pi radians in the numerator, we'll get to cancel out the degrees as far as units go. Visualize this as two fractions multiplied together. So we can say 60 pi over 180. Again, this will be in radians. A little bit of reducing down both multiples of 60, numerator and denominator. We can say that's pi over three radians. So filling into our formula, we can say our area is gonna be one half multiplied by our radius squared, I guess we came up with a different order. And the order doesn't really matter. You could say theta multiplied by our radius squared or our radius squared multiplied by theta. I'll use the version that's outlined here. They mean the same thing. But we could say our radius three meters squared multiplied by theta, which would be pi over three. Now a little bit of reducing down to get a nice answer going on here. We can say uh, that's one half. And then three meters multiplied by three meters is nine meters squared or square meters. 
visualize that as being in the numerator. So multiply our numerators together. We have one times nine times pi. It's nine pi. And then denominators two times one times three makes six. And our, our units are still meters squared. Just a little bit of reducing down here, both multiples of three numerator and denominator, we can say three pi over two square meters is gonna be a nice exact solution. And these homework systems tend to really like exact solutions so you can enter it in just like this. All right, hope this helps out in finding the area of a sector. Just remember that that angle always has to be in radians. So do some work, switch over from degrees to radians if necessary. Good luck.